change. You can drag it around to different locations. You can change the orientation. It's, I don't want to say limitless, but it's pretty close to limitless what you can do. The Insta, I think they call it Insta360 Action GPS Remote or GPS Action Remote or something like that. And that's what puts these up as far as you can put just the speed, you can put the course up on it. I wanted to come out to this hill here because there's a lot of switchbacks here. I wanted to see how the course looked, if it really pointed out how the uh, how switchbacky this road is, because certainly when you do it with a with a GoPro, you don't get the appreciation for the corners and all that. So wanted to see if this camera maybe showed it a little bit better. I'm letting the camera just run because if I shut that off, then that shuts off the the GPS track, and you don't get the full track. So. What I'm finding is it's only while well, the camera's running that you get the track. It's not the full length of where you've been going the whole time and put you on it. It's only as long as the camera's running does it does it keep track of, of your course. So that just means you got to let it run a long time. What I'm finding is, too, it doesn't look like it's going to last as long as the GoPro battery in the remote control. I use my GoPro remote control quite a bit and I'll charge it every six or eight months. Just doesn't need it where this one was fully charged last week and it's showing that it's down to half a battery. I guess that makes sense considering it's got a GPS built into it so it's it's doing a lot more. It should be using a lot more power than the, than the GoPro so I guess it makes sense that it doesn't last as long. So you're going to have to charge the Insta360 remote more frequently than you do with a GoPro. That said, it's kind of cool to be able to put up the speed you're going, the course. There's a lot of information. There's a there's a slope here. Uh, there's you know the actual coordinates. So again, just letting the camera run so you see the full course. Uh, this is a real switchbacky road. It's a very steep road in places, like right here. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm thinking the GPS showing the course. I'm hoping it, I'm hoping it makes the uh, video more interesting to actually see what's going on, as opposed to uh, just a normal GoPro where you can't tell what the corners are. I'm hoping with this one you'll be able to see. Yeah, that's a real switchback. There's another real switchback. On this road, there's another real switchback. One thing I discovered as I was editing the video was that you have a lot of opportunity to make changes. You can change the color. You can drag it around to different locations. You can change the orientation. It's, I don't want to say limitless, but it's pretty close to limitless what you can do with the objects that they give you. This was really my first editing session with the, the desktop software provided by Insta360. Uh, I was able to use several tricks. I think it worked out pretty well, and as I learn more, I'll post more. Have a great day.